What makes a good reader? There are four foundational reading skills. These are memory, attention, processing, and sequencing. Let's talk about memory. A good memory is one of the characteristics of a good reader. It is important in learning new sounds and words. In reading comprehension, memory is also important that it helps the reader remember the sentences they have read and also be able to connect them all together. Attention Fastidious attention is important for the reader in learning new sounds and words and sticking with a reading assignment. The main concern of this foundation is the attention span of the students. Short attention spans can take a very long time to finish a reading assignment. Processing There are two kinds of processing, the visual and auditory processing. Visual processing helps the students remember how words look when they are spelled. The problem with visual processing, it is impossible to visually remember every word. On the other hand, the auditory processing. We need auditory processing for us to be strong in reading because our brain processes reading as if it were a speech. Sequencing. Good readers need to be able to correctly order letters into words. Sequencing is important as well for ordering letters within words, words within sentences, and sentences within paragraphs. In summary, a good reader has a good memory that helps to remember all the sounds and words, long attention span to finish all the reading assignments. Also, a good reader has both visual and auditory processing that helps to remember how words look when they are spelled and also to become a strong reader. Lastly, a good reader is good in sequencing that enables him or her to correctly order letters into words, words into sentences, and sentences into paragraphs. Good day! In this video, we are going to talk about the skills that make a strong reader. What does a skilled reading look like? How do children become strong and skilled readers? To become a strong reader, one must possess these following skills. Early literacy skills, phonics, fluency, comprehension, and of course, vocabulary. Let us further discuss these five. Early literacy skills. It is the building blocks for learning to read successfully. There are three key points to remember under this category. One is print awareness. Young children need to learn some basic things about how books work. Let's say for example, how to read from left to right and top to bottom. Next, we have letter knowledge. Learning the names or letters of the alphabet and being able to recognize their shapes are really important. Last is phonemic awareness. Before kids can learn to read, they need to understand how the sounds in spoken language work. This includes the ability to identify individual letter sounds and hear each sound that makes up a word. Then we have phonics. It is at the heart of early reading instruction. Children learn to use phonic skills to match letters to their sounds to sound out or decode words. For example, the letter B stands for the sound B, and your child can blend these sounds together B, A, T, and read the word bat. Sight words. Sight words are the most common words your child will encounter while reading. Words like was, that, and said. Children learn to read sight words as whole words rather than sounding them out using phonics. Fluency. It is reading sounds smoothly and naturally. It is the way people sound when they talk. The biggest way that children build fluency is by doing lots of reading. Achieving fluency has a tremendous impact on young readers. Since fluent readers don't have to work at decoding words, they're free to pay attention to meaning. Plus, when reading feels easy and natural, and kids understand what they're reading, it's fun. 
fluency is the gateway to a love of reading. Comprehension is the ability to understand what you read. It is the reason we read, to get meaning from the words on the page. Good readers actively engage with a story and identify the characters. A good reader is able to explore the meaning of a story and connect it to his or her own life. How do children build comprehension? They need a foundation of solid decoding skills and fluency and a strong vocabulary. Lastly, children need to do a lot of reading to build comprehension. Vocabulary The need to understand the meaning of the words they read. Children learn vocabulary in a variety of ways. They learn some words through direct instruction. It's also helpful for students to learn strategies for dealing with unknown words, such as using context clues or analyzing the meanings of word parts like root words, prefixes, and suffixes. From kindergarten through high school, kids read a whole range of nonfiction, including books, textbooks, name it. So, what are the strategies for reading nonfiction? First is this, they use their reading skills to learn new information and ideas. At this point, students begin to develop critical thinking skills and take a different kind of approach to reading, one that's active and analytical. They learn to identify key concepts and recognize how text is organized so they can follow the development of ideas and keep track of important information. They learn to monitor their own comprehension so they can fix any gaps in their understanding. They summarize what they've read in order to cement it in their memory. And you know what? Strong reading skills really pay off. How? Children who have strong reading skills develop a lifelong love of reading. It feels enjoyable. The more your child enjoys reading, the more he or she will want to do it. They feel like they are inside the story, experiencing the adventures right along with the characters. And of course, reading expands children's horizons and shapes the way they see the world. They have deeper understanding of those around them, the people around them, and they themselves. And of course, last but not the least, reading enrich child's life. Indeed, reading is a passport to countless adventures. Best Reading Program for Students A typical classroom contains students at every level in terms of innate reading ability and skill level. To facilitate a reading program, Group the students that have the similar reading levels and proficiency. You may do this after they take the initial assessment. Students might shift to different groups as school year progresses. Be flexible and make sure that the students are in the group that fits them best throughout the school year. You can also experiment with changing group structures from time to time. For example, Try partnering your less proficient readers with stronger readers. Students can improve reading comprehension by relating content that might be harder to understand with the other content around it that they do understand. Encourage your students to read in this way as they work to improve their proficiency as readers. Whether it is just one word or several sentences, the context in which the material appears can help students to understand and integrate all of what they are reading. Reading orally in class is a great way to help students enhance their reading ability while demonstrating what they are capable of. Students are then able to receive feedback from both you and other students. Students who are taught the basics of words via phonics and phonetics tend to improve in reading more rapidly than students who do not receive this sort of instruction. 
Phonics emphasizes learning how letters correspond to sounds in a word and in turn how this relates to reading, sounding out words, spelling, and understanding them. Phonemics focuses on even more basic units of language. These units, sometimes called phonemes, are letters or letter groups that make up sound elements within words. Regular vocabulary exercises can greatly enhance reading comprehension. Vocabulary building can be as easy as having a word of the day written on the chalkboard each day along with its definition and quizzing students periodically on past words of the day. With technology advancing as it has, there are now a vast number of software programs that can be used in the classroom to help enhance the learning process. Click and read phonics, be smart kids, and reader rabbit reading learning system are just some of the more popular programs available today. Identifying the best reading program for your students is definitely more of an art than a science. All students learn differently, so try and be flexible as you implement your reading program.